everyone, my name's Cecilia, and today you're here with us for Coastal Cocina. We've got Chef Robert Shen. Chef, what are you making today? Yes, we have an interesting dish that we're gonna do today. It's gonna be pampuno smothered with tamarind ginger sauce, and also it'll be paired with uh, cilantro green rice. So it'll pair pretty well on, on, on the dish. Wow, that definitely sounds like a Colsto meal to me. Also, by the way, we've got a special guest with us today from the fire department. They're gonna be doing a demonstration later on in this show. But let's go ahead and get started with the next steps of what's cooking. Firstly, we gotta do the rice. And then once the rice is done, we'll migrate to preparing the fish. Um, is it a whole fish with the eyeballs and all? And yes, it is a whole fish. I like to have the whole fish because then you know how fresh the fish is. Oh, wow. So we're making everything from scratch. So first off, I'm going to prepare the, uh, the shallots and some garlic. Okay. And we go really nice and thin. Check out that technique. So the next one will be the garlic. Just a slight curve. And you slam. And bam. Bam, it comes off. <laughs> See, it's so easy. Okay, so we're using a gas stove. And what are we prepping here? So here, we're gonna fry the shallots and the uh, garlic. And so you want that blue flame right there. We'll put some olive oil. And usually for this, uh, I'm gonna use about uh, half a cup to a cup you'll hear the sizzle, and that's how you want it. You can hear it and smell it. Ooh, yep. uh, you can already see the little gold and brown toasty colors. Yes, looks indeed. so good. Yes, indeed. That's where the garlic comes in. Yum. Next step is to get some of this nice, fresh cilantro. My favorite. So we'll take some of these leaves we're gonna chop them a little bit and then we're gonna cook the rice jasmine rice you can get from any store and you have to wash the rice if you don't it gets too gummy now we've done this nice aromatic oil right so you're here. gonna pour all of that in there not all but just some Okay, so now that we've got the rice in the rice cooker, what are the next steps for this recipe? Yes, so for the next step, uh, I'm gonna do the salsa for the rice. It's going to be mixed with the cooked rice. Parsley, cilantro, a poblano pepper, jalapeno pepper, Ooh. a little bit of the garlic. To maintain that really bright green, you need some acidity. And the acidity will come from the nice Right. And we're gonna blend this. While we're waiting for the rice to be cooked, this needs to be refrigerated. And this is called pampano. This is in our ocean. Yes. I can go fishing for this. Yes, absolutely. Our local beaches have these fish and we can make this recipe right at home. That's even better. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we're gonna clean this fish. It's gonna be in the basin. Okay. And uh, once I'm done with the f when cleaning, then I'll call you back. Sounds good. I'll let you handle all the preparation of the fish. So while Chef Robert is preparing our fish, let's come on over to our guest speaker today, Captain Mark Lewis, who's going to be giving us the gas safety tip for cooking. Thank you for having me. Now, so today I've set up a demonstration here of several things wrong. Can you tell me some of the things you see wrong with this picture? Hmm. I do see quite a few things wrong here. I'd say the first thing for sure is not sure why the kids are playing in the kitchen, but that's gotta go. I see a medicine bottle, um, an open flame. Oh, this pan. I know some kids that might just grab hold of that. Yes, you're exactly right, Cecilia. You know that most of our fires that we respond to are cooking fires. So that's why as a fire department, we want to teach people how to cook with care. Now you were right about the board game. There should be a no kid zone around a stove. All right, now two, 
This could result in a very serious burn for a child. You notice the handle. The handle should be turned in when cooking. Not like this, because a curious little child will come along and... Definitely don't want that don't to happen. That hurt. All right, and over here. You never cook when impaired by drugs. And if you're having a fire on your stove, especially a grease fire, never ever put water on it. If you try to put water on this grease fire, it'll erupt into a ball of flame. Now, some people say that you can use baking soda, but the problem with using this is that if I open it and I try to see, do you see how close I am? This is on fire, and I'm probably gonna burn myself trying to use this. So it's better to use a fire extinguisher. So let me show you how to use a fire extinguisher. Okay. Notice it's an ABC fire extinguisher, which is a general purpose fire extinguisher, which is great for a kitchen. All right, so there's one word I remember. I mean, remember the word is pass. Pass. P-A-S-S, -S, pass. It's Got it. For pull the pin. Grab the nozzle, you aim it at the base of the fire, squeeze the trigger, sweep side to side. Got it, pass. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's give it a shot. Got it, so pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Thank you, Captain, for coming in and sharing with us some safety tips when cooking in the kitchen with gas. Now let's go see what chefs do in the kitchen. Alrighty, we're back to the kitchen, so what's next in this process? We have this sauce right now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it in the cooked rice. Okay, so and this so, is your already chilled sauce. Yes, okay. yes. It's pretty much green enough. You could put more if you want, but I think I'm pretty good with this. What do you think? I think it looks beautiful. I could just eat the sauce by itself, but that looks <laughs> gorgeous. The next stage is the fish. So I've cleaned the fish. What we're going to do next is to cut the fish, salt it, just to season, just a little bit, and preparing it to be cooked. All right. Let's get to cutting. Okay. <laughs> so now that you've already cleaned the fish, fried the fish, what's the final step on this recipe? One final step is to make the tamarind sauce. It's a tamarind ginger sauce. This sauce is going to go real quick. When the oil is hot, you go from one ingredient to another, it got to go fast. And the timing is very critical because you don't want to burn any of these ingredients. Okay. This looks so amazing and delicious, Chef. Let's taste this wonderful dish. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Good? That's amazing. The flavor in this, so, so good. You can taste everything. Well, thank you again, Chef, for being on our show here at Coleso Cocina. And thank you, Captain, for giving us those safety tips when cooking with gas. Again, thanks for watching Coleso Cocina, where we give you recipes from our table to yours. Mm. That is so good.